Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to NCW episode 60. I am your host, your general manager, your commentator for the evening, Neo Extreme, and we are coming to you live from London in the United Kingdom with a stack card to our go home show to NCW Elite. Kicking things off, we will see Corvo Jack and Dan the Destroyer teaming together to take on the number one contenders for the NCW Tag Team Champions, Aaron Bennon and Aaron Crimson. Can Bennon and Crimson get the job done and destroy the Destroyer and Corvo Jack? Or will Dan the Destroyer and the French Man event be able to work together? And walk out with the victory over the number one contenders. And then we will see Clark Oliver Morrison, the former champion of champions, taking on the brand new NCW United States champion, Doc Matt, for the United States title. Doc Matt just winning the title on episode 59 against Tony Lee Williams. But Clark Oliver Morrison, he wants gold and he wants it back now. Can he become the United States Champion for the ver for very first time in his career? And then we will see the return of Tiger Rose taking on the young DJ Fresh. After DJ Fresh is running with Neo Extreme, he needs to pick up a big victory to get back on track. However, Tiger Rose, after losing to Zender, needs to do exactly the same. Which one will pick up who which one will pick up the victory in London, England? And then we will see Elizabeth Blackwell, the number one contender for the women's title, take on the two time former women's champion Violet before Elizabeth's uh title match against Roxanne Riviera at NCW Elite. Can Elizabeth Blackwell build momentum or will Violet be able to finally defeat Elizabeth, who is actually undefeated here in NCW. And then, on his route to the Extreme Rules match against David Cassidy for the Hardcore title, Bear Buckley will take on the former United States Champion and leader of the Cult of Black Jesus himself. However, can Black Jesus be the man to put down the 7 foot 2, 500 pound war machine, Bear Buckley? And in our main event, we will see. A Wait, where was I going with this? We'll see a fatal four way to determine the number one contender for Eddie Knight's Intercontinental Championship. We will see Angel Ramirez, who defeated Kenny Omega last episode. Jesse Rose, who defeated Bruce Coleman last week. Adam Saban, who has. Who powered through and defeated Lucifer and Bobby Cook, the shocker of them all, defeating Alexander Leonardo Davidson, our fallen king. However, which one of these four will earn this opportunity and go to NCW Elite for a shot at glory? Anyway, let's kick things off with that with the tag match of the night. Here we go. Kicking things off with the former two-time light heavyweight champion, the French main event himself, Corvo Jack, we haven't seen in quite some time. I think the last time we saw him was episode 57, and that was when he was in the number one contenders battle royale for the NCW Champion of Champions title. However, I believe he's 
Battle Royale rivalry with Dan the Destroyer got one of them eliminated. Only to be set up to be eliminated by the somebody else. But either way, Dan the Destroyer, Corvo, Jack, they will be working together for the first time tonight. Can they get along and shock the world by beating the number one contenders? Here we go, former United States Champion Dan Destroyer. Look, looking back, looking to get back on winning ways here. The victory over the number one contenders could do that. After all, if Banner and Crimson became tag team champions after these two get a victory over them, that would be pushing them up to tag team rankings. However, the rules between a normal tag match and a tag team title match is very different. The game plan are just more difficult to prepare for. Not to mention beating a team who has some experience as a team together where you're, where you're teaming up for the very first time. I mean, Corvo Jack didn't destroy. I'm sure they only know each other's moves from beating each other up. But you know what they say: great enemies make the best allies. Look at him, ready to go here. What a career resurgence from Crimson after the um, NCW broken pay-per-view where we saw Angel be kicked out of NCW. Aaron, Cri Aaron Crimson was practically on his own. Aaron Banner, however, on that very same day, took his, t his opportunity to join NCW and then at NCW Dynasty these two men teamed up for the very first time together with a victory over the former number one contenders Buddy Andrews and Dylan Edwards well, not, not, not former number one contenders but yeah two guys who have faced who have tried to win those tag titles well they've faced Former tag champions, they face former number one contenders, so yeah, they're a decent team each. But here we go, Corvo Jack starting off in the middle of the ring here. DDT to Banner. You gotta believe Banner would be the weak link, but with his intellect, I believe that's the most dangerous thought you could have. But Corvo Jack starting that hitting hard. Oh, look at Corvo Jack go, just slamming Banner's head into the ground and followed up with that knee drop across the back of the skull. There we go, begging him to stand here. Oh, what was that? Like he was going for a horror but just could not make the distance. But the leg able to catch Banner. Here we go, Irish whip now. Oh, got caught with that knee. Oh, and a Pele kick. People sit, people set that up as a signature move, but not Banner. But Banner tried to go second rope. Then the destroyer kicked to the, kicked to the lower back. Banner fell, but Banner up, up faster than um, Corvo Jack did and makes the tag. Now Corvo Jack staring down Aaron Crimson. Not a wise move here. As Crimson just Irish whipped him straight into a boot. Corvo Jack taking a little bit of time out to get away from the danger, but straight back into the 
Straight into Hell's Fire right here. As Aaron Crimson is trying to knock this skull right out of the head of Corvo Jeff with that right hand. And now here we go, Dan the Destroyer in the match for the first time. Oh, look at that distraction game there. As Dan the Destroyer getting the upper hand on Aaron Crimson. Looks like these two are working together pretty well. That big throw from Dan the Destroyer. That Aaron Crimson just one move and straight back from control. Oh, look at that, just knee to the side of the head. Trying to crush him. Trying to prove that they have what it takes to become tag champions. Just right hooked him there. Oh look at that, three sharp shots, or oh, two sharp shots to the head there. Tries for a big move, gets counted into a neck breaker. Tag made the banner. The brains of the duo. Oh look at that, try and power bomb. But then they show it, able to counter it. But right into a tilt to wall neck breaker. No, arm trap neck breaker, I should say. And then a code breaker for good measures. Better now slowing down that pace. Just t wanting to dissect Dan the Destroyer. With those vicious headbutts. Mm. Only a two count. Then the destroyer is still going here. Still going strong. But Aaron ben Banner making the tag to Crimson here. Oh, drop top hold. Fell out with that big elbow drop. That 400 pound elbow drop. And here we go with another one. Banner and Crimson have come leaps and bounds since getting together as a team. After all, they went from not even knowing each other to freaking number one contenders in two matches. First winning a dynasty and then winning that tag team, or that 10 team tag team tournament, or battle royale I should say. Teams that had, oh, ah. yeah, teams that had former tag champions like Spike Masters, Clark Oliver Morrison, the, the Dragon and the Fox. Ooh, big bear hug spine buster there. Aaron Crimson not done with the devastation. Crimson got in mind here. Oh, just raining down those heavy stomps. Again, the destroyer in a world of trouble here. As Banner jumps in to stomp him. Now to tag back to Crimson. And here we go. Slingshot drop kick. Corvo Jack hasn't been able to get back in this one yet. Here we go, can Corvo Jack save him? Oh, what a distraction. Got Aaron Crimson to throw the ref. Aaron Banner taking matters into his own hand to take out Corvo Jack. And now focus back on Dan the Destroyer. Here we go. Oh, powerbomb lung blower. Corvo Jack needs to get out of the ring now. Oh, Dan the Destroyer just being punished here. Look at this. Aaron Banner sets him up. 
Here we go, Superplex City outside. Oh, and look at this perfect teamwork. Oh, Aaron Krimlin tried to throw down the destroyer back in the ring here. Exploded suplex to Dan the Destroyer. But I get this feeling there's going to be a glitch coming soon. Unless Dan the Destroyer runs back into the ring. There we go. Big European uppercut there by Banner. Up to a five count. Tornado DDT by Dan the Destroyer. What's he thinking here? Oh, off the ring post. Up to an eight count. Dan the Destroyer, he could have probably gone from a, he could have gone for a count out victory, but no. He wants to prove that he can beat the number one contender. Dan's trying to get behind Dan the Destroyer here. Oh, look at this. Catch his team. Oh! Try to brain bust a good need in the skull and here we go another power bomb lung blow up. Corvo Jack hasn't been in this match for quite some time and I don't think if Banner and Crimson have anything to say about it, then he's not getting back in this one. Here we go. Oh the A B A C that breaks it up. Aaron Banner says the destruction is not over. Not by a long shot. They want to send a statement to the tag team champions. There we go, Dan Destroyer, sidewalk slam. Finally makes the tag to Corvo Jack with Dan Destroyer. He must be hurting like hell after taking those rapid stomps. Two powerbomb lung bows, a spine buster, and that superplex to the outside, followed up by the ABAC. Ooh. But Aaron Bennett, he pushed Corvo Jack, who was trying to get Crimson back to his feet for a middle rope dive attack. Oh, it tries for an inverted suplex, but no, counters into a normal suplex. Banner and Crimson just on a roll here. There you go, our whip into the corner now. Fluent tags here. There we go, up. Oh, kick for good measures and down. Benner just said stay down, goes into the cover, one, two, kick out. Ooh, tries for a sharp knee to the back, misses, tweaks the knee a little bit. Benner now sets him up, top rope. Ooh, sharp elbow to the back, or to the nose I should say, diving heel kick. Corvo Jack trying to hype up these, this crowd here in, the, in London, England tonight. With Benner now. Oh, here we go. Face Buster. Oh, that could be it. One, two, no. Corvo Jack didn't want that to be it. Here we go. Set him up. Oh, DDT. Bust open the number one contender. Corvo Jack will take that for a victory at least for now. A look at Banner. He is in a world of trouble. Is Corvo Jack looking to set him up? There we go, spinning. Oh, that's gotta be it. Spinning neck. That's spinning cutter. One, 
two. Down the destroyer, takes down Aaron Crimson, but Aaron Benham kicks out. Both Aaron's now busted open. But Aaron Benham has yet to give up here. Here we go. Powerbomb into the corner. Tried for a European uppercut, but no, he went, Corvo Jack went down. But into the cover now. One, two, three, no. Mm, able to kick out there. Sharp knee. As Aaron Crimson, he was ready to snap, but no. Aaron Bannon splitting the skull of Corvo Jack here, taking a breather. Irish whip now into the corner. Ben is going to be thinking something big here. Tag made to his partner. Off the rope. Drop toe hold. Oh, another elbow to the spine. Could be it. Could be the killer blow, but Ben says, eh, eh. We're going to punish these two for insulting us, or at least busting us open. But here we go, Corvo Jack, back elbow. Headbutt from Crimson. And a big fucking lobber knocking it. Club to the face. But here we go, goes for a spine buster. No, counters it. There we go. Oh, face buster just throws him into the ground. And Crimson now, big stomp to the chest. Off the rope, elbow drop. Look at that, Corvo Jack, he's a mess now. Right, Aaron Crimson looking to take off the head of Corvo Jack with that big Crimson clothesline. And here we go, Irish whip into the corner now. Tag, oh, looks like he was going for his finish, tag finish off the ACAB, or the ABAC, one or the other. Corvo Jack wants to end this on his own. There he goes up on the shoulders. That spinning cutter. I know there's another name for it, but it's fucking seven in the morning here. I don't really want to look it up. Oh, one, two, three, no. Almost beating Aaron Crimson. Big splash across the back. Corvo Jack fighting for his life here, but here we go. Tag to Dan Destroyer. Corvo Jack a mess there in the corner. If Dan the Destroyer wants to take his shot at winning. One. No, no, only a one count. Aaron Crimson alive and well here. Into the corner now. From the looks of things, Dan the Destroyer is probably the first man in this match. Oh, knee shot to the gut. Here we go. Second top. Oh, diving leg drop. And a cross body. A one arm drag just takes him down or a judo throw. But Aaron Crimson tagging in banner. to the face that code breaker that's like move I'm trying to split Dan the destroyer open now here we go curve stomp the move that split Corvo Jack's face wide open but this has become a bloodbath of a tag match look at that still trying to bust him open Oh, he's, re he's go really going to try for the um, dirty penny. A one, two, three, no. Dan Destroyer is still in this one somehow. Oh, referee's down. Oh, big clothesline takes him out. 
Then he destroy goes right after him. Back in the ring now. That bit that clothesline nearly decapitated Banner. But then the destroyer now looking for what he tried before. Oh, brainbuster on the knee. Oh, big clothesline. Rattled him. Tag made the Corvo Jack. Goes in for the cover. But only a two count. Here we go, looking for those sharp elbows, but no, Benner able to get out. Oh, massive European uppercut. Benner now, what's he got in mind here? Oh, spinning neck breaker. Now looking for another power bomb on the door. Oh, what damage that does. Your full body weight coming down on two knees. But Banner goes for the cover. One, two, three. No, Corvo Jack's still in this one. He's not a former light heavyweight champion for no reason. With Jack's the door. Oh, Pele kicked to the arm this time. Oh, big suplex throw dumped him on his head nearly. But makes a tag to Aaron Crimson. Aaron Crimson off the rope, big clubbing shot there. What a way to start off episode 60. Is he's got that vice like hold on. The leg trip from Corvo Jack. What's he got in mind here? Irish whip into the corner now. Oh, big boot to the face. Down goes Crimson. Benner can't believe his eyes that his monster is being punished like this. And Corvo Jack for one last time looking for that spinning cutter. That could be it. Goes in for the cover. One, two, three, no. But Dan the Destroyer took a swing at Banner. And Banner went down. This is up to Aaron Crimson at the moment. Oh, big clubbing shot. Oh, right into that bear hug. That bear hug spine buster. Goes in for the cover. One, two. Corvo Jack still not going down. It's not every day you fight the number one contenders who are undefeated. It's Corvo Jack looking to work on that arm, but no. Aaron Crimson counters it. But running out of energy, the, the blood loss getting to him. As Corvo Jack takes full advantage with that DDT. But Aaron Crimson's still in this match. What an explosive match this has been to start this episode off. You don't start off with a wimpy, but with a bang. Corvo Jack now, Irish whip into the corner of Dan the Destroyer. It looks like he's just hanging on here. There we go, snake eyes. And right into the corner of his tag partner. Tag made, looking to end it now. Up on the shoulders. Oh! The ABAC. But breaks it up again. That could have been it. The match could have been over. 
Oh, snap DDT there. Throws in for the cover now. One, two. The Crimson was saying my partner would never lose to something as weak as that. Nearly did. Corvo Jack. Setting Banner up in the corner here. Oh, big boot. Down he goes. As Aaron Banner getting saved momentarily by one Corvo Jack's exhaustion and two Aaron Crimson distraction the referee for that count but well, here he goes one more time no goes to the well too many times and gets hit with that lifting DDT and now here we go one more time curve stomp has Aaron Bennett got in mind here he wants to end it on his own here we go, power bomb. Oh, nails him. Could be it. Crimson says ring the bell, and they might as well because this match is over. But if that's what it took to defeat. Dan the Destroyer and Corvo Jack, two former champions. What will it take to beat an actual team? The tag team champions. Lopez Stone and Logan King. But Aaron Banner, Aaron Crimson building momentum on their way to NCW Elite for those tag team titles. Question is, can they dethrone the champions? And can Aaron Crimson win his fifth championship here in NCW? Then the destroyer, he was at a conundrum or something. He was either thinking hit the ref or hit the break hit the fucking breakup, but Aaron Crimson ran across the ring to stop that. As these two reign supreme here tonight. Oh look at that. Like a monster. <laughs> 